Well, hello there and welcome to another training nugget. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to create a banner in CorelDRAW. So let's get started. Well, before you want to get, well, before you start designing any banner design, you need to first understand the purpose of the banner, where it will be used, whether it's a Facebook advert banner or it's supposed to be printed and directed somewhere by the roadside as a billboard. Creating banners becomes very easy in CorelDRAW, especially if you understand who needs to use it. A very direct approach of creating a banner is by using the different shapes that are provided in CorelDRAW. For example, if I navigate into the rectangle tool, I'm able to select and to create a banner, and at the very top section, I'm able to modify the east-west dimension and the north-south dimension, which is the width and the height of this banner. I can also manipulate by visually looking at the banner and holding the toggle options just to make the banner a little bit bigger. It is also very important to understand about colors, different shades of color that are supposed to be used in that banner. From the color panel here, I can select a color of my choice. Depending on how I'd like that color to blend, I can navigate into the object property and modify that color to fit exactly the tone that I am looking for in my design. I can also include my color code in case I'm not very sure about the color. And the very best option is you can integrate gradient colors. Gradient colors are effects that shows a fading effect that sometimes brings in a 3D sense when you're working with an image. On these gradient colors, I can decide to have it as linear and, of course, optical and elliptical. This now makes your banner look or communicate certain information accurately as you will prefer. I can also decide to change the colors and even change the position of where my gradient lies and where my gradient starts. I can also double tap to include another docker area where I can include a different color. Uh, on my image. Now that being said, it is very easy for me to click on the text area and click inside the banner section and type in any text that I would prefer. CorelDRAW allows you to manipulate text depending on what you would prefer to have. From sizing, using the object property, you can change the character type and design to suit exactly what you're looking for and also changing the colors that you have for your text. Remember, I can also include other shapes within other shapes. For example, I can draw an ellipse within the ready drawn rectangle and give it a color of my choice. I can also decide to change the outline to a given color of choice just to make sure that looks nice. CorelDRAW also allows me to import images into my file. I can go directly into the download folder or into the internet, copy paste an image in here and start working directly on it. Don't forget, I can also have my transparency tool just to make sure that I create different kind of gradients using a transparency. And with that, I'll have created a banner. The other simplest way of working with banners in CorelDRAW is by navigating into the file option and using new from template option. Depending on the banner that you want to implement on your Corel, you'll just pick from the different variety of templates that are pre-designed for you. If you're doing a certificate or you're doing a business card or a brochure or an advertisement, then this template will come in handy to help you in creating your banner simply by just clicking on options and they'll just pop up on your Corel workspace. This is an example of a template. I might decide, just zoom it in a little, I might decide to edit all the information in this banner just to fit exactly what I need. I can change the image here and change the colors and the wording to get exactly what I require. Don't forget, once you're done with your banner, remember you'll click on the file option and depending if you want to print that or you want to use it in Facebook or screen display, then you can export, you can export for and select what kind of 
usage you want to use. You can also publish as a PDF or directly send it into your local printer to print out this banner in hard copy. Well, I hope this was very informative and if you like this video, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next nugget.